Okay, it's the Lewis structure for the nitrite iron, NO2 minus. First of all, you need to know the number of valence electron pairs. So nitrogen is in group 15 and oxygen is in group 16. So nitrogen has five valence electron pairs. Oxygen has six. Don't forget to double it because there's two oxygens. And there's a cheeky extra electron there, so we need to include that. If I want pairs of electrons, I need to half that, which is going to give me nine. So nitrogen is the first atom in the formula, so almost certainly that goes in the middle. And spread the others around evenly and just join them up. We've dealt with two electron pairs, and we have nine in total, so there's seven more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is tempting, but that can't be true. You need stable octets. There are four electron pairs around the oxygen here and four there, giving eight electrons in total around the oxygen, but the nitrogen that only has three electron pairs. So easy to fix, just move an electron pair over there. Now we have three stable octets. Square brackets and a minus, uh, you'll get the point in IB. So that's one way to do it. The other way, so the second way to draw NO2 minus, well, uh, and I have an extra electron, so I'm going to need to use that and put it where I want, where I need to. All right, so I can see a pair here and a pair there, which gives me this. Another pair there, okay. Couple more. Mm-hmm. Couple more pairs there. And this guy on its own. Hmm. That's where my spare electron comes in, so I'm going to stick it there. And don't forget about that lone pair. All right, then. Square brackets. So again, we come up with the same Lewis structure using both methods. Let's talk about the shape. Well, it's tempting to say it's linear, but it just isn't linear. It's actually this shape here. It's a bent shape. So the reason it's bent is the central atom has three electron domains. One, two, three electron domains. Uh, and one lone pair. So it's going to look like that. This is a bent molecule, and uh, the angle is less than 120. Uh, you can see that just from looking at it, uh, that it's, it could be 120. But why is it less than 120? Well, this lone pair of electrons repels these bonded pairs more. So I shouldn't have made a noise. It's in like that. So it's bent, and it's 115 degrees. Well, what about the bond dipoles? So to look at the bond dipoles, you're going to need to check the electronegativity values. So electronegativity uh, of nitrogen is 3, and oxygen is 3.4. So oxygen attracts the electrons in the bond more than the nitrogen. So 3.4 for oxygen. And 3.0. So the bonds are polar. If I look at this bond here, the electrons are going to be drawn slightly more towards the oxygen since it has the higher electronegativity. So I can represent that by drawing a dipole there or I'm feeling cheeky, pop one up there. And also the same the same applies there. So the bonds are polar. Now what about the molecule itself? Well, the molecule itself is charged, uh, but that wasn't the question. The question is, is the molecule polar? And it is. If I add up these bond dipoles, uh, I'm going to get this for the molecule. And so since the bond dipoles do not cancel, the molecule itself has a dipole. Not a very big one but it does have a dipole. So these are the two resonance structures. The double bond uh, can be there, or it can be there. So where is it? Uh, actually, it's neither of those. The double bond is evenly kind of spread out between these things here. Uh, so it's actually, on average, a one and a half bond. It's a one and a half bond in length and a one and a half bond in strength. So how would you draw that then? Well, the traditional way is just uh, to put those kind of little dots there. I know that lone pair's there, but the other lone pairs are kind of crazy, so we don't bother putting those in. So that's how you draw 
the resonance structure, just one of them, not the individual ones. That's kind of the combined one. All righty, let's get a bit messy, but there's uh, there's three alternate structures. So uh, the formal charge of the nitrogen is going to be, well, it's got five valence electrons on the nitrogen, minus two bonds, and how many electrons in a lone pair? That's two, so my formal charge is going to be plus one. Let me just pop that double in there. That was a mistake for me. Okay, now for this one here, uh, this oxygen has uh, six valence electrons, minus two for the covalent bonds, minus four for the lone pairs, so that's going to give me zero. All right, so uh, for formal charge, zeros are good. So I see a zero here and a zero there, so that means this structure is excluded. So the first rule is the one with the most zeros wins. The second rule uh, is mm, the most electronegative atom should have the negative charge. So what's more electronegative, oxygen or nitrogen? Well, we saw before it's oxygen. So oxygen must have the negative charge. So it's negative here, but in nitrogen that's got the negative two charge. Mm. So this is the one that wins. Excellent. And we're done.